Okay, so I uh I just want a bike ride because I was having some sort of anxiety attack, whatever. So I thought I'd maybe go drive around, so I felt better, and it, it um turned into like this self-esteem bike ride thing, and uh it was really good. And um I thought maybe I should make a video. Um, it's already off to horrible start, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so basically I was driving around feeling really shitty, and I'm like, you know what, Ray, you should tell yourself some good things about yourself, because I don't do that very often, because I have a bit of a low self-esteem. So, um, I was like, okay, Ray, I guess I'll do that. Um, and I kept doing that for maybe 20 minutes, and I started to feel, like, a lot better, and towards the end, uh, I was like, maybe everything doesn't suck so much, and, uh, I just got back from my bike ride in the rain, as you can tell by my wet hair. Um, but I wanted to make myself a video of all the nice things that I was just telling myself so that next time I feel like shit, I can watch the video and maybe be reminded that I'm not shit. Um, so, Ray, this video is for you. I am talking to myself, my future self. Like time travel. Okay. Um, Ray! You're not a fuck up. Stop telling yourself that, because you're kind of awesome. You raised $5,000 for awesome kids in Haiti, and then you went there, and you saw them, and you met them, and you worked really hard, and sweat a lot, and painted a lot, and hurt your feet a lot, and you made some really awesome friends, and you should be proud of yourself, because you can accomplish really great things. So next time you start to feel, like, panicky because you're not sure about your life and stuff, remember that you did that and it was really good. And you also help people on the internet, and you don't have to do that, but you do that. And it takes you a long time to answer messages, but you do it because you like helping people, and that's kind of awesome, so you should give yourself some credit. And, um, you know, sometimes you help them a lot, like maybe convince them not to kill themselves, and that's kind of cool. Maybe, like, you should remember when you're feeling like shit that some people are alive because of you. Um, you wrote a really long fan fiction, like, so long, like, three novels length. That's pretty awesome. You started it, and then you finished it, which is not something you would have done maybe three years ago, or something that you thought you could have done, but you did. Um, person outside the door. So we're pausing dramatically. Because you're a bit awkward. But that's okay. Because you use your awkwardness to help other awkward people. And if you weren't so awkward, you probably wouldn't be able to connect them, connect with them so much. So it's good that you're awkward, and you should be happy about that. <laughs> Maybe not all the time, but it's not always a bad thing. Um... You're starting your sophomore year in college. You got straight A's late last semester. You're going to Vancouver and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter next month. I guess this video is not going to be eternally relevant, but for the meantime. You're doing lots of stuff this summer, which is awesome. And I'm losing a little steam here. There's other stuff, but you're kind of like a really great person, so stop being so mean to yourself, because you're not a fuck-up. You've risen above some really awful circumstances, and you haven't hurt yourself since these happened. And that's something to be proud of. So stop being mean to yourself. Your future's not going to suck. It's going to be really awesome, okay? You're great. Seriously. Even if you're 5'3". I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. That was... It's okay to be short. I'm short to you. We're the same person. <laughs> okay, video's over.